Dave here at the Resurrection Center with another video to talk about your spiritual preparation. And after this video, there's more to come, so follow and subscribe. If you are having a tough day, it may be due to not being spiritually prepared. Who's at fault? Could it be you? Let's find out. Are you spiritually prepared for the battles that you'll be immersed in throughout the day? Are you ready for the attacks from this world? Do you know you can be equipped spiritually if you are prepared? Jesus told a parable that teaches us about spiritual preparation in a parable in Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 through 13, about 10 virgins. I love the parable that Jesus teaches us. Jesus demonstrates that there is no substitute for spiritual preparation. Understand there are no shortcuts for being prepared spiritually for the strength and the energy and the wisdom you need to carry out your day. Spiritual preparation equips you for unforeseen crises or opportunities. It's necessary with no substitution or shortcuts. If you are unprepared, you will be vulnerable in life's unexpected events. That will be your fault. Did you hear that? Yes, it's your fault for not being prepared. Know that now. You can prevent failure by being prepared. Say the word prepared to yourself. You don't have to drop the ball and be lost. You see, life has twists and turns. We all know that. We have all seen the twists and turns. We have an opportunity to be prepared if we choose to be. Did you hear me say the word opportunity? Yes, you did. Remember, it's a choice. An opportunity is a choice of accepting or rejecting. Let's accept the opportunity to be spiritually prepared for the twists and turns life here on earth presents us. We can be prepared spiritually for life's challenges just by choosing to be prepared. Let me use the Bible to help explain what I'm talking about. Actually, it's something Jesus is talking about. In the parable shown in Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 through 13, there are 10 virgins who were awaiting for the arrival of the bridegroom so that they could celebrate with him and his bride. Five of them prepared in advance and brought an adequate supply of oil for their lamps. The other five were not prepared, so they rushed out to buy additional lamp oil. While they were gone, the bridegroom arrived. The five who had planned ahead entered into the house with him for celebration. Unfortunately, the door was closed against the five who were not ready, and they missed the celebration. Here is what we learn. If you are spiritually prepared when a crisis comes, you will not have to try to develop instantly the quality of relationship with Christ that can sustain you. Think about that. If you suddenly have an opportunity to share your faith with an unbeliever, you will be equipped to do so. If you enter a time of worship spiritually prepared, you will not miss an encounter with God. If you are spiritually filled when you meet a person in sorrow, you will have much to offer. If you have established safeguards in your life in advance, you will not give in to temptation. Christians lose many opportunities to experience God's activity because they have not devoted enough time to their relationship with God. If you have not yet developed the habit of a daily prayer and Bible study, why not begin now so that you will be equipped for whatever life brings? Take time to read the parable of the 10 virgins in Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 through 13. Let me read it for you now. I'm going to do that now. So here's the parable of the 10 virgins in Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 through 13. And this scripture says, At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like 10 virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. 
Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took the lamps but did not take any oil with them. The wise ones, however, took oil in jars along with their lamps. The bridegroom was a long time in coming and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, the cry rang out, here is the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, give us some of your oil, our lamps are going out. No, they replied, there may not be enough for both us and you. Instead, go to those who sell oil and buy some for yourselves. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later, the others also came. Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, truly, I tell you, I don't know you. Therefore, keep watch because you do not know the day or the hour. And that is the parable of the 10 virgins in Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 through 13. In Matthew chapter 25, uh, I, I should say that's uh, in Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 through uh, 13. And it is exciting to know that we are being warned by the Lord to be prepared. Take time to read the parable of the 10 virgins in Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 through 13 on your own. Remember that we have an opportunity to be prepared for what God wants us to be prepared for. And it's a choice. Remember, we can be prepared if we choose to be. Again, my name is Dave from the Resurrection Center, where you can visit us on Sundays at noon and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. at 1060 Worcester Street in the Indian Orchard area of Springfield, Massachusetts. There's more to come. See you soon.